Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I am going to show you how we can extract data from images into Excel. So I prepared here a screenshot of a, a data. So I have here a picture, so let me show you. So I want this picture to be imported into Excel. So to do that, we have to use one of Excel's latest feature, and that is the Get Data from Picture feature of Excel. So to do that, we have to go to the Data tab, and then under Data tab, we will go to Get Data, and then under Get Data, we have to go to From Other Sources, and then From Other Sources, we see here From Picture. So we have the option to get the picture from file, or if you just recently took a screenshot of the image, you can also use the second one here, picture from clipboard. We can try that later. So for now, I'm going to use picture from file. And then my Windows Explorer will show up. So I have to go to pictures and look for the image. And it's going to be this one. And then I'm going to click Insert. So Excel will now process the picture and get the data out of it. So take note that before you accept okay, the conversion of Excel, you actually have the option to review anything that could have been wrong. So for example, here, I'm getting an interpretation of uh, the peso sign as the letter P. So I could fix that. But take note that if your image is not that clear, then it means that it may be misinterpreted. But let's say that in some instances, you may get the data wrong. So let's say that instead of item, we can change it from here, and then say items, for example, and then click Accept. And from here, now that we're done, we can then click Insert. You will get a warning we're in even if Excel did its best to analyze the data that it has, of course, there's still a possibility of errors during the conversion and you're going to get a warning about it. So I'm going to accept this responsibility. So I'm just going to click insert anyway. And now I have my data transported into Excel. And I hope you realize that it's not always perfect, but at least you got some of the data okay, transported from Excel. It boils down with how clear your images are. So it would be best that uh, if your image if your image has borders, so Excel would know when to separate the columns. So unlike here, I have column A containing two data, wherein it's actually supposed to be like this. And maybe because Excel saw the two columns here as just the same data, given that the line that I have here is grayed out. So that's how to transfer your data from image to uh, Excel. Now let's try the other one. What if I want to transfer data from a screenshot, from a recently taken screenshot and transfer it to Excel? So I'm, I have here data and let's say that I want to transfer this one into an Excel file. So I take a screenshot of this first. I'm going to snip it and then make a screenshot of it. Let's make another one and let's pick this one with borders because this would be better if you want to make sure that Excel figures out which column a certain data goes to. So I now have screenshots. So I'm now going to my Excel, let me close that. And I'm going to do the same procedure. I'm going to go to data, get data, and then we have from other sources, and then I'm going to go from picture. And you will notice that the picture from clipboard is now not grayed out. So I'm going to click that. And it's going to get 
the most recent screenshot that we had. So if you remember, we had two screenshots. So it's giving me the recent one that I have, the one with borders. And from here, looks like I'm getting a more perfect conversion of the data because of the borders. I'm not getting a lot of red boxes. And then now I'm going to insert data. So only one item requires review. So I'm going to insert it anyway. And now I got that screenshot transferred into my file. Though again, as you can see, it's not really that perfect. The April data has to be cut here, but at least it's not really much of an effort compared to doing it, typing it manually. And I also hope you realize that it only captures data. It doesn't pick up formats, colors, or icons, pictures, no. It's just really for um, numbers and letters. And that's how you can use Excel to extract data from your picture. Take note that this feature is also available in Excel Online or in the Excel um, Mobile. Actually, it started there and it only recently was carried over to the desktop version of Excel. So if you're using your phones to do this, you can actually also do that. Just download the Excel app in the, in your, using your phone and you can use the same picture or you can use the same procedure. Just take a picture and it will convert it into data as well. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.